I just purchased a little bit over 5,000 followers for 92.22 US dollars. So it is stupidly cheap. And this is hands down one of the, you know, most prominent questions that I get asked on courses, on YouTube videos, through DMs and the Discord. So I wanted to kind of create a one-stop shop tutorial for this once and for all. I did cover this in a previous video a little bit in depth, but it was you know, in the middle of another video where I was kind of explaining how to get followers. And so in this video, I'm going to run you through the entire process that you can use this week for under a hundred dollars to purchase followers for a TikTok page and get it to 5,000 followers so you can join TikTok affiliates or get it to 10,000 followers so you can do TikTok series or creativity program beta, or I guess it's creator rewards program now. They keep changing all the names. But regardless, you can utilize this to purchase followers very quickly, stupidly cheap, however many you want through ads.tiktok.com, okay? Now, it's very easy to sign up. You just go to business.tiktok.com, set up a business manager, and then from there, you can go to ads.tiktok.com or you can set up an ads account within there. I have another video on how to actually set that up very easily. It takes about... 15 minutes realistically if you're slow maybe five if you already know what you're doing i will link that tutorial video at the bottom of the description but it is super easy to set up and then once you have an ads account on tiktok you can run ads to cheap cpm countries and clean up the followers so you can get to 5,000 or 10,000 or 50,000, whatever you want very quickly and then monetize your own tiktok page or a brand new tiktok page for whatever purpose you see fit now i've done this about five times on five different pages now it is beyond easy it does not take much effort. It does not take much know-how and you don't need anything fancy. I'm going to run you through the exact page that I did this with. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you the exact ad that I ran and how I set it up so you can replicate the entire thing. And I'm going to also show you the creative and how you can also create creatives just like that very easily, completely free. I'm going to cover it all in this video for you and hold your hand through the entire process. But before I do that, I really briefly want to talk about CJ Dropshipping. It is a phenomenal company that I personally use as a supplier to dropship on TikTok shop. Now, I ordered this recently, as you can see here, the Bluetooth speaker ball, and it just showed up today. So I'm going to unbox this later on as soon as I'm done this tutorial. Brand new, just from CJ, right? Showed up. And I'm going to start recording my own content based on some research that I did because this is kind of starting to pop off a little bit. And I'm going to create my own videos on this as a potential product that could go viral could do very well for both TikTok affiliates and dropshipping on my TikTok shop and the supplier that I used here is CJ dropshipping as you can see it's on CJ dropshipping right here for $25 24.95 directly from a US warehouse because if you're dropshipping in the US on TikTok shop it needs to be within a US warehouse based on CJ dropshipping and as you can see it processes in one to three days aka it fits the shipping deadlines on TikTok shop because it processes in one to three days it also delivers in three to ten so it fits both of those windows, meaning you can get your tracking number out within that time period. And also it's going to be delivered to your customer within that time period. Assuming again, that you're using CJ dropshipping's US based warehouses, very easy to set that up. Again, I've done an entire tutorial on that, how to find the US warehouses within CJ dropshipping, how to sign up, how to use products and how to do all that. I will link that at the bottom of the description, that full tutorial for you. But essentially, as you can see here, it delivers fast. It's $25. I literally ordered this myself and you can see the same exact ball on Amazon here for four. 40 bucks and it delivers roughly the same time frame literally the same time frame so it'll deliver to me in about four days five days it delivers in three to ten on cj so the customer's still getting it in the same rough time frame but it's 15 dollars cheaper on cj so that gives you the ability to drop ship without you having to touch the product because they will facilitate the entire sale the tracking number everything for you through cj's website again that tutorial already linked at the bottom of the description for you and on top of that now you can also compete on price because their product products are super affordable. So you no longer have to just drop shit from Amazon or another supplier where your prices are already high. And now you have to make banger videos to get sales. Now you can compete on price because their prices are cheap. Their shipping times fit the deadlines on TikTok shop and you don't ever have to touch the product. They will drop ship for you automatically. The only thing that you need to do in the beginning is order the sample product. If you're doing your own videos, like I am in this example, record your own content or pay somebody to do it for you. You can outsource it to somewhere like viral e-com ads, bands off ads, like any of those. You can also use an AI software. I've covered a million of those in other tutorials. But if you're looking for a high quality supplier, CJ Dropshipping is definitely a site you should consider. It is incredibly fast shipping times with US warehouses, affordable products, and they will do everything, like I said, automatically for you. So you never have to touch the product. Now, all I would do if I was going to reorder this again, as you can see, I literally ordered a sample order, you know, I think it was four days ago, five days ago, something like that. So it showed up fairly quickly within 
that three to 10 day window, obviously, all I would do is come down and say, buy sample because I'm ordering the sample to myself. I would add it to Carter, click buy now, put my own address in, then obviously it would show up to my door which it did, which now I can record my own content with this ball. And then I would connect my shop into CJ Dropshipping and I could order dropship orders directly to this if I wanted a custom order, or obviously they would just sync up and, and place the orders automatically for me and then put the tracking number to my customers automatically in TikTok shop for me, all right? So CJ Dropshipping, that will be linked. First link in the description if you wanna try them out. I cannot recommend them enough. So as you can see here, here's the proof. Test followers campaign. I literally ran this, I think it was like a week ago, or two weeks ago, something like that. $92, $92.22 22 to be exact. I'm gonna pop my phone up and show you the actual proof of it as well because everybody always gets on these tutorials like oh you're not showing the proof that's because i don't want to show my store half the time that's because i'm not i don't want to show a number of things realistically but my editor is going to blur all this out he's going to blur out the actual name of the store he's going to blur out the products and all that stuff that he sees on the phone so let's get this going now so here it is right here and as you can see 5,159 followers to be exact started completely fresh so it didn't have any followers it has about 5,000 likes as well and this was stupidly cheap to run as you can see if i click over it's tiktok shop eligible for a affiliates not going to show any of these products here but as you can see just to refresh it boom 5,000 followers so you know it's not a screenshot 5159 to be exact and yeah so this is the new account that I'm going to be using to start a brand new affiliate page right and the cool thing about that is you can create niche affiliate pages and kind of pick a niche knowing that it's going to be stupidly cheap to just start another one if you absolutely have to right it's not very expensive and I see people starting new pages all the time to build up different niche accounts because for example if you want to drop ship home goods but then you want to drop ship electronics but then you want to drop ship sporting goods like you could have a store built around all of those i think that's the best way for beginners to go i have seen people do general accounts i don't think that's the best way to go for most beginners in most cases but that's just my opinion right so now to the good stuff all you would do once you set up your ads.tiktok.com account right you have your ads manager account going and again i linked that tutorial for you on how to set that up very fast down at the bottom of the description you would just create a campaign then you're going to go community interaction is the consideration because you want people to follow you right Right? You obviously want to name your campaign. I always recommend people give as much detail when naming their campaigns at different levels in the actual ad, because that way, if you're looking through your ads, it's fine now. It's very easy to see now if you only have like one or two ads up, like it's a no brainer, like what each one's for. But eventually in the future, even if it's not right now, you have, let's say 10 ads or 50 ads going, or they have in the past, you want to be able to understand and see what each ad is. So always name it something relatively specific, long tail keywords. So you know exactly what it is. So I'm going to say like test follower campaign for TikTok shop YouTube video. You don't need to create any split tests or do anything further. Just name it something specific so you can reference it later. Then click continue. Again, same thing with the ad group name. You want to name it something specific so you can always reference it later. Just get into the habit of doing that. It's a good habit to have. So I'm going to say test followers campaign for YouTube video. Now I always unclick search feed. I feel like those buys are usually more expensive and you don't need that. You just want followers. So you just need in feed right here. Now here's where it really gets interesting, right? So you want to uncheck United States because the CPM, the cost to show it to a thousand people is more expensive in those types of countries, right? So you want to avoid Canada and you want to avoid the United States. Now, what I used to tell people is go every other country that isn't them. So we're talking Egypt, Kuwait, Morocco, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, United Arab Emirates. And that's worked really well for me in the past. I used to buy like 5,000 followers for like a few hundred dollars. It was stupidly cheap, but I did see a recent video from Patrick Marketer suggesting that only put in Egypt, Morocco, and Turkey. And so that's what I did for this one. And it was even cheaper. So great video by him. I will link his video directly at the bottom of the description as well. If you want to reference that specific one as well, but this one worked really, really well for me. So I'm going to recommend this one going forward as well. So Egypt, Morocco, and Turkey, I think you calls this the Egyptian method, but it worked fairly well. I'm going to select all age ranges, obviously outside of 13 and 17, because we don't really want followers that are under that anyway. Keep genders all and the language is all, and you really don't need anything else here. I would just up your budget for the lifetime because you don't want it to not spend, right? It forces you to put in a budget of 280 there minimum. You will not spend that in most cases, obviously. Now, the last thing you want to do here is the bid strategy. So you want cost cap, right? And you want to set a two cent cost cap. All that's 
basically telling TikTok is you don't want to pay more than two cents a follower, okay? And that's essentially how we're going to get these followers stupidly cheap because it's going to be no more than two cents a follower. And we're only targeting these specific low CPM countries. So those followers that we do get are going to be ridiculously cheap. Then you click continue. Again, name your ad something specific here so you can see it for future reference. And here's obviously where you're going to add your ad in, right? So single video, you're going to want to do TikTok post so that you can create a spark ad that links back to your actual page. That's going to work the best for followers. It's going to be the cheapest, okay? But all this is self-explanatory. And I also cover all this specifically in that other video that I linked at the bottom of the description. So we're going to hop back into my phone and I'm going to show you how I actually created the video to actually put here that I uploaded to my TikTok page first. So all I did when creating the actual video that I uploaded to my TikTok page that was extremely intriguing to a number of different people. And also keep in mind here that you have a global audience for this specific video. So you don't want anything that's like English specific or it won't do as well, right? So I picked a viral cap cut template that was based around soccer, just knowing that the majority of the world loves that. It was about Cristiano Ronaldo and Man U. And I will actually drop the exact video that I did right now on the screen for you. See which ones speak to you and post like two or three of them see which one does the best organically and then promote that one here from ads manager with your ad that should do fairly well you could even post nine organically and see which one of those does the best that way you ensure that you're getting the cheapest cpm possible or you could just go down your suggested feed and see which ones pop up if you have cap cut downloaded as we scroll here it typically just pops up and tells you which one's a cap cut one so let's find one really fast all right so for whatever reason scrolling down my feed i wasn't getting suggested any cap cut templates when i usually do like every 10 10th video that I'm scrolling past. So for the sake of saving your time in this tutorial and my time, because I'm not really sure why it's just not suggesting them as I'm recording this, but for the sake of saving your time, you can just boot up CapCut and you know, use any one of the templates and then obviously mold it to create your own video, right? Put your own spin on it. Look what's working for other people and make something similar. Or you could, like I said, scroll through yours once you download CapCut. And then it's this little thing in the bottom left that says this is a CapCut template. And when you click that actual template, it will boot up CapCut for you automatically to that actual template, which you can then personalize. You then click use template in blue there, and then you can personalize it. It's that simple. And that works so well because that template has already proven to go viral in most cases. So if you post a few of those personalized organically and then wait to see which one does better organically, and then right here, you're going to go TikTok post and run a spark ad from that TikTok post for these followers. It's going to be stupidly cheap and it's going to perform extremely well. Again, little reminder though, just make sure to remember that you do have a global audience here, but this is exactly how I do it. In the past, it was a few hundred bucks to get this. So again, stupidly cheap, but now under a hundred dollars for 5,000 followers. I mean, you can't beat that. That. Everybody can benefit from this knowledge. So as always, guys, this is just what works for me. I really hope it helps.